There are now two confirmed false prophets in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The first, of course, being David Gates, who was exposed as a false prophet in this video I did back in 2019. And now they have Doug Batchelor declaring this on camera. What is the great tribulation in the last days? In a word, or a few words, it's the seven last plagues. Now keep in mind, this is the same man that has multiple 501c3 contracts with the second beast of Revelation, who also lied in an email to me and another brethren of faith, of which I share in this video. This is the same Doug Batchelor that not only declared he knew there was pork in the vaccines, he also stated in this video that it is a good idea to get the vaccine anyway. Both David Gates and Doug Batchelor are in fact using Roman Catholic prophetic definition that, if believed, will prevent the Bible student from discovering the popes are indeed the prophesied Antichrist. Gates used Roman Catholic definition to declare a day equals a day as if it's a legitimate fact in prophecy, even though the Bible clearly says a day equals a year in both Numbers 14.34 and Ezekiel 4.6. And you have to know that this Vatican twist is purposely designed to confuse the babes in Christ seeking to do a study in prophecy when they get to the dates that are put forth by the prophet Daniel. Without the Bible dates being intact, they will never notice how the popes of Rome did all that prophecy said Antichrist will do in specific years. Doug Batchelor is using Vatican definition on prophetic events that was first promoted in 1910 by an extremely evil man named Cyrus Schofield who published a Bible with his reference notes that purposely hid the fact that it was the Vatican that was the prophesied beast that would cause a great tribulation upon God's people for exactly 1,260 years. That prophecy stated would end when the hand of God using Napoleon to inflict the prophesied mortal wound upon the Vatican occurred in 1798 AD. But here's the clincher that proves Batchelor is in fact hiding scriptural facts, just as he did when asked about his 501c3 by me and another brethren of faith in that email I shared earlier. Notice what Jesus said will happen directly after the great tribulation ends. Jesus said in Matthew 24, verses 21 and 29, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Now, notice what historic record uncovered that shows Doug Batchelor isn't preaching truth here at all. I will only share one historic record per prophesied fulfillment to keep this video short, but I have an in-depth study with all the historic documents on my seven-year trib fact or fiction page for those of you that need additional facts on all this. First, the sun being darkened. It is stated in historic record that if every luminous body in the universe had been shrouded in impenetrable shades or struck out of existence, the darkness could not have been more complete. A sheet of white paper held within a few inches of the eyes, was equally invisible with the blackest velvet. The next historic record touches on how the moon does not give her light. It stated, There was an appearance of midnight at noonday, and in the evening, although the moon was just past full, perhaps it was never darker, since the children of Israel left the house of bondage. In connection with this extraordinary phenomenon, the moon was reported to appear red. The next one that Jesus said will happen is that the star shall fall from heaven. And according to historic record, it is stated that this language of the prophet has always been received as metaphorical. Yesterday, it was literally fulfilled. As no man before yesterday had conceived to be possible that it should be fulfilled, were I to hunt through nature for a simile, I could not find one so apt to illustrate the appearance of the heavens as that which St. John uses in the prophecy. They were what the world understands by the name of falling stars. And to further lock this down, for those that seek it thus saith the Lord yet again, notice what Jesus had John penned for us in these last days in Revelation 6 verse 12. It states, 
And I beheld, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Did you notice? Revelation 6.12 actually puts it in the exact same chronological order as Jesus did in Matthew 24. It states that there was a great earthquake, and then, John writes, the sun became black as sackcloth of the hair, and the moon became as blood. Now notice, just one of many historical accounts regarding what some still call a global earthquake back then that occurred shortly before the sun went dark and the moon lost its ability to shine due to it appearing as blood, as the prophet Joel prophesied, when he also spoke of the sun going black in Joel chapter 2, verse 31. Check it out. It's in the Encyclopedia Britannica, 1945 edition. It says that the effects of the quake were felt from Scotland to Asia Minor, and the distinctive feature of the Lisbon earthquake was the agitation of inland lakes and streams far beyond the disturbed area. For instance, Italy, Switzerland, Great Britain, Sweden, and Norway felt the effects. And keep in mind, this was long before modern seismic monitoring was deployed. They had to literally feel the effects in each of those countries to report on it. That was one massive earthquake. And so, there you have it. Doug Batchelor is now a confirmed false prophet who, like David Gates, is caught using Vatican definition for prophetic events and symbols. For as we see by prophetic and then historic record, directly after Rome lost its power to kill the Christians using their church and state power, which all Seventh-day Adventist churches have now created an image to, which, by the way, was not just prophesied they would do this in Scripture. It was also prophesied by Ellen White. Their very own prophet stated the Seventh-day Adventist church would not just join hands with Rome, she also declared they would create an image to the beast in Rome. But as they did to many other statements of hers that expose their apostasy and wickedness, they edited these statements out and many other statements from her original books. And yes, they also got caught removing her statement that they would join the church with the state we now see is in fact a 501c3 contract. So if you're a student of the Bible, you can see all those prophesied events by our King Jesus happened and were recorded in historic record exactly as Jesus said they would happen long before the plagues would fall. Doug Batchelor is a false prophet. None of those prophesied events can happen after the plagues begin because Jesus specifically stated they will happen immediately after the tribulation of those days. But like Cyrus Schofield of old, Doug Batchelor is right now helping Rome hide the fact that they have been the home of Antichrist since day one. Schofield hoped, as did the popes back then, to make it appear Antichrist was to come in the future due to all the facts the then obedient Ninth Hour SDA Church was uncovering about the popes and all their books and newsletters. And now we see Rome is using Doug Batchelor to do the same so as to try and quench the prophesied exposure of the man of sin in Rome as the obedient remnant people go forth with the present truth for these final days of Earth's history. Thank you for watching. God bless.